Hey, I'm Johnny. This is 77 Signs. You're an INFJ. And let's do it. One, you regularly get sudden aha moments, flashes of intuitive insight. Two, you work best by yourself. Three, people you barely know open up to you way too soon. Four, you're a social chameleon who can blend in anywhere. Five, you're probably on a specific but crazy diet right now, for better or for worse. Six, you find it very difficult to relax. Seven, you have an almost spiritual connection with animals. Eight, you absorb the energies of other people. Nine, you question the traditions. Ten, you question the questions. Eleven, you have a habitual routine. Twelve, you have all these little half empty journals and notebooks everywhere. 13. You want to change the world. 14. You're obsessed with symmetry. 15. You often struggle to recall memories from the past. 16. You like slow and sad depressing songs. 17. You're fascinated by conspiracy theories even if you don't believe them. 18. You on occasion spend just a little bit too much time in front of the mirror. 19. You love and or appreciate coffee even if you don't drink it. 20. You often hide your emotions. 21. You're mysteriously drawn to quaint little parks that have few people present. 22. You love the aroma of old books. 23. You feel misunderstood. 24. You are misunderstood. 25. You usually have your head in the clouds. 26. You can't stand a messy, cluttered environment. 27. You have difficulty remembering other people's names. 28. You struggle to know what you're feeling. 29. You find it easy to tell what others are feeling. 30. You've taken the MBTI test way too many times. 31. You're often mistaken for an extrovert. 32. You have a variety of sweaters, cardigans, and little jackets that make you feel all cozy and warm and sophisticated inside. 33. You have a love-hate relationship with socializing. 34. You're still single, or at the very least, you were for a long time. 35. You probably believe in aliens. 36. You require a lot of time alone. 37. You'll spend days with someone and then suddenly ghost them. 38. You have all these little home decor items about love and motivation scattered around your home. 39. You are all or nothing. 40. Your idea of a fun night off is a cozy night in. 41. Your brain hemispheres are equally balanced between left brain and right brain. 42, you will stand up to bullies when no one else will. 43, you're clumsy. 44, you just know stuff about people. 45, you talk to yourself a bit more than others would find normal. 46, you're probably an excellent writer. 47, you're occasionally a great verbal communicator. 48, you don't just read books, you immerse yourself in them. 49. You love shopping the clearance section at stores. 50. You talk to nature. 51. You passionately hate disharmony in relationships. 52. You often struggle to set firm boundaries. 53. You're often thought to be too sensitive if you're a man and too analytical if you're a woman. 54. You're always looking to optimize and organize your surroundings. 55. You find small talk annoying because it seems inauthentic to you. 56. You ascribe significance and meaning to even the small events in your life. 57. Your kindness is often mistaken for weakness. 58. You're very tolerant and forgiving, but once you're done, you're done. 59. You have little trinket organizers in strategic places all around. 60. You struggle to stay in the present moment. 61. You know you're destined to do so much more than work a regular nine to five forever. 62. You prefer cooperation to competition. 63. <laughs> you prefer Target, not Walmart. 64. You've always felt very, very different inside. 65. You often wake up with a song in your head. 66. You find that broken and toxic people are often attracted to you. 67. You're always quoting motivational gurus and leaders. All players have a place where they add the most value. John C. Maxwell. 68. You find eye contact very difficult on some days or super easy on others. 69. You're a perfectionist. 70. You're weird. And it's okay. 71. You love drama movies that teach deep, profound life lessons. 72. You can get so caught up in ideas that you become oblivious to your surroundings.
73, you think about the future a lot. 74, you're a hopeless romantic. 75, you feel very young. And very old. At the exact same time! 76, you root for the underdog. And 77, and finally, you truly do believe love is the answer. Thanks for watching, guys. Share this video with all INFJs. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.